How do we stop this from happening? Right now, only 19% of the plastic packaging we use goes into recycling. That means that every year, about 1 million tonnes of plastic packaging entering the Australian market goes into landfill or leaks into the natural environment. So I spoke to some of the organisations that have been pushing for change in Australian packaging laws. They told me that while it's all well and good to be making sustainable choices individually, using this instead of this, that ultimately, if we want change, it has to come from the top. What they wanted to see most of all was for companies that produce plastic to be held responsible for its entire life cycle, not just until it falls into the consumer's hands. This could be achieved by implementing legal financial punishments for industries, potentially all the way from manufacturers to retailers that do not meet mandatory targets for recycling of their products. The idea here is that only by setting legislated targets will plastic manufacturers seek out sustainable solutions to single-use plastic packaging. Now look, maybe I could convince you that this policy is important by presenting a bunch of scary statistics like by 2050 there'll be more plastic in the ocean than fish or that the average person uses about 50 kilos of plastic a year. But look, I think you're smart and above that, so instead I'll say this, it will save you money. Because who's footing the bill for the collection, recycling and dumping of all that rubbish? Ratepayers. If we shift the responsibility for this packaging onto the people who make it, we all might stand to save a buck or two. So what can you do now? Well, if you're into sustainable alternatives to plastic packaging, go for it. But the single most impactful thing you can do right now is get in touch with your local representative, state or federal, and let them know that plastic packaging reform is important to you.